Hello, card runners. This is Villa Samalahti, aka Go Get a Real Job. You are watching the second and final part of my PLO MTT series, featuring my final table run in the Stars Monday $530 6 max. Part 1 ended at the bubble bursting. There were 100 entrants, and now we are 12. As you can see, my stack is quite healthy compared to most of the table. I did expect the short stacks to start gambling a bit more at this point, but since the final table was pretty close, my plan was to keep putting the pressure on preflop until my opponents proved it suboptimal. Before I hit play, I'll just quickly remind you guys that these are the hands where I voluntarily put chips in the middle. In other words, filtered VPIP equals true in Holder Manager. With that being said, I think we're ready to jump into the action. Bit loose but somewhat standard, open with the suited ace in the cutoff, takes it down. Very standard steal from the small blind with a nice hand. Standard cutoff open with nice double suited connected nines. Going after the short stack with the double suited disconnected hand, he gives me action. I flop the flush draw and make the C bet. You could argue going as low as 3k, but since the board is fairly dynamic, I think 4k into 6k is just fine. I certainly can't continue against the raise with a bare 8 high flush draw, so this is a pretty clear bet fold. But luckily, my C bet takes it down. Definitely defending here against the virtual min raise from under the gun. And is certainly strong enough. We don't flop much. Villain checks back on the flop and we make our gut shot. No point in betting in my opinion. Villain stabs the turn, we obviously call. Villain gives up on the river and shows trips. To be honest, Villain's bet on the turn doesn't really make much sense. No better hand is ever folding, and he doesn't really have any hands to protect against. Only a 5 on the river would bring more straights onto the board, but it would also give him the second nut straight, so there really aren't any cards that he needs to be worried about. He's obviously also allowing my over pairs to bink a 2 outer, but I think it's fair to say that's irrelevant to the discussion. Again, decent double suited hand to pick on the big blind. He does give me action. Another standard C bet and have to give up against the raise. Decent hand to open the cutoff with. Takes it down. Standard button open with the suited ace. Get action and flop the nuts. Good spot to check back in my opinion. I think checking back is the proper range play. Try to get some value on the turn, but no dice. 